Hello, I'm uh, Felix. I'm 28 years and I work in Japan as a journalist. I think that is um, the midfielder from Real Madrid, Sami Kedida, because he's, uh, he's quite an untypical player of Germany. He's uh, sort of more forceful, more physical, and in that way he's one of the important players of the team because he's, he, he, makes, he provides for a balance in the team. Well, about Japan, I think they have quite a strong team and if they make it to the second round, it'll get tough. But if they win against, uh, against whatever team it will be in the second round, I think they can go all the way. And with Germany, um, which is quite a similar team as Japan in terms of their playing style, lots of midfielders and you know, not, no real striker, um, anything but the World Cup will be a disappointment. Um, that's how people see it in Germany. Um, I'm not sure if they will actually make it to win because they they might lack a leading personality in the team. Okay. Um, and then it really depends on day-to-day -day form of the team. But they might go all the way and win the cup. Well, for now, that is, um, that's only three games in the group, which is against Ghana, USA and Portugal. And out of those, I think Portugal will be the most fun one, because there's this, um, you know, there's Cristiano Ronaldo playing for Portugal. He basically kicked out Bayern Munich, where lots of Bayern team players, uh, uh, Germany team players play. Um, so there's a bit of a revenge there. Um, and I think also that will be the most difficult game in the group stage. And anyway, after that, things will get more interesting. Well, since Germany is one of the favorites, I think along with uh, Brazil, Argentina and Spain, uh, any of those can be one of the dark horses, I think. And as you've seen in previous tournaments, as long as Germany does not concede a shock, sort of a shock goal in the, in the first half, they should do fine because they tend to dominate the game. But whenever they, um, they're suddenly behind, well that's a dark, dark horse in itself and then it's, it'll be hard for them to recover. So hi, I'm James from England uh, and I run Campion Ale, which is an English pub and brewery in Asakusa. So I think possibly Steven Gerrard, uh, he's uh, got a lot of experience now and he could make it or break it for England. So I think England will probably get through the group stages, uh, but I'm not sure they'll get through the next round. Okay, Japan? Probably um, Japan as well, I think they'll, they'll do okay in the group stage, but I don't really see them getting as far as the, the quarterfinals. Why not? Uh, I don't know, just, just not the kind of experience in the knockout stages. So I'm looking forward to uh, the first England game, England versus Italy, and also on the same day Japan versus Ivory Coast, uh, because they're just at the most convenient times. Convenient meaning, meaning well, what? Well, they're still early morning, so 7am and 10am, but possibly okay to enjoy a drink with. I'd go for Brazil, with the home advantage, surely they can pull it off. Uh, for an upset, well let's say England would just be slightly optimistic for once.